Hi, this is Anna Jarrett. I am here to present today's mandatory troop cookie program online training. Go for bold is this year's theme. This training is an overview and provides the basics of this year's cookie program. More details can be found in the troop cookie manual and all resources can be found on the GSNI website at www.girlscoutsni.org slash cookie resources. You will notice on the top right on most slides, there is a page number referencing the cookie manual that you will receive once you view this training and pick up your materials from your service unit cookie coordinator. Through our financial empowerment program, girls from kindergarten through 12th grade are learning valuable life skills such as money handling, self-reliance, and following their values and beliefs, making it relative to the business world. Through this program, our girls are learning the three keys to leadership, discover, connect, and take action. Here are some examples of the badges offered through the Girl Scout leadership experience. The badges encompass the five life skills learned by the girls in our product programs. Schools don't necessarily have the time or curriculum to teach these skills, but in Girl Scouts, we take a progressive approach so all girls are learning and building their leadership skills with each level. While developing these five skills, our program utilizes a three process approach, girl led, learn by doing, and cooperative learning. Each age level has two cookie business badges and two financial literacy badges. Leaders can reference the Badge Explorer online for all the options. It's all about the girls. As cookie entrepreneurs, girls learn essential life skills that last beyond the cookie program. They discover hidden talents and get to practice a lifetime of leadership skills that carry them far into every stage of life. The Little Brownie Baker's website has many creative resources to support girls of every age at every stage of the Girl Scout Cookie Program. We want to make life easier for our volunteers. A fantastic resource on the Little Brownie Baker's website is a cookie season planning guide for leaders. This helps new leaders or even returning leaders plan the cookie season. In an effort to ensure GSNI abides by IRS guidelines, troop size guidelines as they pertain to troop proceeds for the cookie program have been updated. It is important that we comply with IRS guidelines so as not to endanger the not-for-profit status of GSNI, GSUSA, and other Girl Scout councils. For Girl Scout Daisy, Brownie, and Junior troops, the minimum size is five girls from multiple families and two unrelated leaders, one of which is female. For Girl Scout Cadet Senior and Ambassador Troops, the minimum size is three girls from multiple families and two unrelated leaders, one of which is female. This minimum size requirement must be met by January 28, 2019. If your troop does not meet the minimum size as outlined, your troop will automatically be treated as a group of independently registered members, which means troop proceeds will not be awarded. During sweeps, your troop account will be swept for the entire cost of the products sold. Proceeds are not kept by the troop. Girls will earn s'more dough in place of troop proceeds. New for this year, registered Girl Scouts can start selling online only using the digital cookie platform starting on Monday, December 17th. Girls can begin taking in-person orders from the public Friday, January 4th through Sunday, January 27th. Please remind parents that girls are not allowed to sell face-to-face -face prior to this date, except to family members they may be seeing during the holidays. Troops have until Monday, January 28th at 11.59 p.m. to submit initial orders and initial rewards in eBuddy, the cookie program data entry system. Delivery dates are February 15th through the 20th. Your specific delivery date will be provided to you by your service unit cookie coordinator. Booth sales will begin on Friday, February 22nd and end on Sunday, March 17th. 
A complete list of dates can be found in your Troops Cookie Manual. Did you know? Booth sales are not just limited to the weekend. Troops can also set up sites during the week within the authorized cookie booth sale dates. Here are the bank dates for this year. The first bank sweep from your Troops account will be on Tuesday, March 5th. This will be for 50% of your Troops initial order minus the Troop proceeds. The second and final sweep for the remaining 50% and any extra cookies picked up from a cupboard will be on Tuesday, April 3rd. GSNI is uploading previous year's banking information into eBuddy on January 16th. All troops should verify their banking information is correct and make any necessary changes no later than 11.59 p.m. on January 28th. However, new troops need to enter their banking information into eBuddy by 11.59 p.m. on January 28th. Please adhere to the required dates listed on your screen for parent delinquencies and NSFs in order for GSNI to cover the troop financially. If dates aren't met, your troop takes on the risk and is responsible for the debt. We offer a two-tier proceeds plan. The more your girls sell, the more your troop earns. The troop proceeds plan allows a troop to increase their proceeds based on the troop PGA or per girl selling average. This is calculated based on the number of girls participating, not the number of girls registered to your troop. Only cadet, senior, and ambassador troops can consider opting out of rewards for higher proceeds. Troop leaders should guide girls carefully to consider which option is best for their troop. See pages 16 and 17 of the Troop Manual for more information on how troop proceeds can support troop activities and choosing whether or not to opt out of rewards. This choice must be made prior to submitting your troop's initial cookie order. Take the following steps to protect your troop from bad debt. Ensure that every parent signs the product program permission and responsibility form before receiving any cookies. This includes leaders and cookie chairs. Have every parent count and sign receipts when picking up cookies and when turning in money. Do not accept checks from strangers like customers at booth sites. To teach girls about money management, girls can double count the money and show girls what coins and bills should look like. Postings to any allowed social or general media may only be done during GSNI's cookie program sale dates. Posting to personal troop or service unit Facebook pages is permitted. Especially for personal pages, we recommend being cognizant of settings, private versus public. Posting to local community groups, particularly those such as garage sale sites or local homeowners associations for which you have to sign up and be approved, is permissible for the promotion of booth sale sites and online direct shipped orders. Posting to national sites such as but not limited to eBay, Craigslist, and Amazon is not permitted. Posting to public social media pages, those where no restriction on viewership is, is not permitted, except for general communication to state the start, date, time, and location of a booth sale. No personal contact information to include a girl's digital cookie URL can be posted on these public sites. This also includes any media such as local newspapers and community newsletters. GSNI reminds everyone that the cookie program is a girl-led program activity and girls should be involved as much as possible in social media and online sales. Girls could include a video explaining her goal and asking friends and family to support her troop. A girl could post a photo with a couple of sentences she writes, or if a family does not want to post photos or videos of the girl, the girl could design and decorate a poster with information and families could post a photo of that. We recommend parents use caution when posting to any social media site 
and possibly taking orders from strangers. The safety of Girl Scouts and their families is first and foremost. Parents should use their best judgment when approving in-person delivery orders versus shift-only orders to customers they don't know. At no time should a girl be alone when delivering to someone who ordered from any social media site who you do not know personally. She should be accompanied by an adult at all times. We have all your favorites. In a world of countless choices, consumers rely on brand names to judge quality. Little Brownie was the first to bake the original Samoas, and this cookie brand continues to grab media attention, earn customer loyalty, and drive high sales. GSNI's pricing meets two requirements, standardization and simplicity. All eight cookie varieties are to be sold at $5 per box, including our specialty cookies Toffee Tastic, which is gluten free, and the S'mores cookie, made with all natural and organic ingredients. This cookie was first created to expand to a new generation of cookie sellers and buyers. Little Brownie Bakers is leading the way with consumer preferred ingredients and specialty cookies made with simple ingredients. We've removed ingredients today's consumers want to avoid, such as high fructose corn syrup and partially hydrogenated oils. Vegan, gluten-free, and made with natural flavors give our loyal cookie Girl Scout customer buyers delicious choices and more reasons to buy. The S'mores cookie will be repackaged this year for more shine and reduced waste materials. Just like the girls set goals, service units have goals as well. Service units who make or exceed their goal earn a monetary bonus. The money earned can be used to host a fun party to celebrate cookie success or another service unit event. Service units that reach their council set goals will receive a bonus check at the rate of six cents per case. Those exceeding their council goal by 5% or more will receive a bonus check at the rate of 12 cents per case. If you would like more information on your service unit's goal, please contact your service unit cookie coordinator. For example, if a service unit has a goal to sell 20,000 boxes and reaches that number, the service unit would receive a check for $100. If the service unit exceeded their goal by 5% by selling 21,000 boxes, they would receive a bonus check for $210. Our resource centers serve as cookie cupboards so troops can get more cookies for online girl delivery orders, cookies in hand, and booth sales. Here are the dates and times for the resource center cookie cupboards. All cupboards open February 21st. All the resource center council cupboards are closed every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. This gives GSNI time to move inventory as needed or to receive cookie deliveries. Please be aware of the new addresses and locations for South Elgin, Rockford, and the Freeport Resource Centers. Lake Zurich Resource Center will only be available for cookie craver contest orders. Please see program contests for more information. We also have volunteer run cupboards. The complete list of all cupboards will be emailed to all troops in February and can be found in eBuddy on your Reports tab and in the Help tab. Cookies must be ordered using eBuddy, the data entry system. You will use the Transactions tab to place cupboard orders for additional cookies needed. You will receive an email when your cookie order is unpended and ready for pickup. We recommend placing your order by Monday for cookies needed for the following weekend. One of the most difficult parts for troops holding a cookie booth is to estimate the number and variety of cookie boxes to order. There is no specific formula for ordering cookies because location, weather, week of the booth, saturation, etc. are all factors into how many cookies may be sold at a booth. In addition to the information presented here, 
GSNI suggests that troops ask for suggestions from other troops in their service unit that may have held a booth at the same location. Booth sales are a fast and easy way for Girl Scouts to get cookies to customers. Booth sales also builds girls' people skills. Customers using the Cookie Finder app will be able to find you only if you register your site for approval in eBuddy. Council sales booth sites are defined as a merchant location with multiple opportunities which are secured and entered into eBuddy by GSNI staff. These sites are high traffic locations. Volunteers are discouraged from contacting these businesses on their own to avoid conflicting communication with the store manager. Please remember to remove your site reservation if your troop is no longer going to utilize. The initial booth sale signup for council sites begins January 22nd at 6 a.m. Troops may only sign up for three time slots at three different retailers. The secondary booth sale signup for council sites begins January 29th at 6 a.m. My sale booth sites are defined as a merchant location where a volunteer may have a special connection to a location that is suitable for a troop booth sale and is not listed as a council sale site. Some examples of my sale booth sites are banks, churches, family restaurants, and other small businesses. If available, the troop must obtain permission from the merchant first before requesting approval in eBuddy. All requests can be entered into eBuddy starting January 4th by clicking on the Booth Sites tab in eBuddy. We do not recommend contacting retail locations to make reservations prior to January 1st. Prior to the new year during holiday shopping is when scheduling errors can more easily occur on the retailer's end. Please be considerate of all troops that may want to utilize a location. While there are no restrictions to my sale reservations, do not reserve all booth weekends at one location. When entering your requests, complete address information is required. The request will not be approved by GSNI without a complete address, including the exact street number. Requests are approved on a first-come, first-served basis. Therefore, if two troops request the same time and location, approval will go to the troop that entered the request first. Reasons a site may be denied include, but not limited to, the site is deemed inappropriate for girls, the site is already reserved by another troop, the complete address was not provided, there is a safety concern, or it is already established as a council site. Something new being offered in eBuddy, a booth site waitlist. Troops will have the opportunity to be notified if a scheduled specific booth date and time becomes available due to a troop cancellation. Please see the eBuddy manual or ask your service unit cookie coordinator for additional instructions. When holding a cookie booth, there are some guidelines that you should follow. Troops may hold a booth anywhere within GSNI Council boundaries. Adhering to these guidelines ensures a successful cookie booth for every troop. All troops hosting a booth sale are representing Girl Scouts. With booth locations getting harder and harder to secure, it is important to maintain positive relationships because we want to keep the ones we currently have. Always remember to be courteous to your fellow Girl Scout sisters. Girls may collect donations or sell boxes of cookies to be donated to military troops through Operation Care and other organizations. These also include local first responders. During the initial order stage, girls sell donation boxes for $5 per box. When a troop leader enters the girl's initial order into eBuddy, these donation boxes should be listed under the CGOC column. The girl and troop will get credit for selling these boxes, but won't physically receive the boxes. The customers purchasing the boxes to be donated do not select the cookie variety. Girl Scouts should collect payment at the time of the order since there is no delivery. 
girls who sell 18 or more donated boxes can earn this patch. These donated boxes must be entered under the CGOC column in eBuddy to earn this patch. We have another gift of caring opportunity for girls to keep them involved through the entire donation process. Complete details can be found on our contest rewards and more recording and in the Troops Cookie Manual. At the end of the sale, Troops can bring in their donated boxes from their booth sites to a resource center or distribute the donated boxes themselves to an organization of their choice. Booth sales are not the only way to sell cookies after the initial stage of the program. Following the initial order, girls may continue to sell cookies through the end of the cookie program on March 17th. Girls may take customer orders, sell through the digital cookie platform, or go door to door with cookies in hand. The Goal Getter Order Card is provided for each girl and can be used to keep track of additional cookie orders. We will be offering the Cookie Craver Contest again. Complete details can be found in your Troops Cookie Manual and in the Contest Rewards and More Training. Girls who participated in the 2018 Fall Product Program and sent 30 or more emails to customers through the Unify system are eligible to earn this new and unique Fall and Cookie Go-Getter patch. For girls to complete the cookie program requirements, they must sell 100 or more boxes of cookies during the 2019 cookie program. These patches are custom ordered and will be mailed separately from all other rewards. Please allow eight weeks after the cookie program concludes for processing and shipping of this patch. Digital Cookie 5.0 is a program in its fifth year developed by GSUSA in conjunction with Little Brownie Bakers, which allows girls to take electronic orders for cookies. To get started, watch for your registration email from Girl Scout Cookie Program. This email will be sent out mid-December. Each parent of a registered Girl Scout will receive this registration email if there is an email address provided when the girl registers. Logins and passwords from previous year are no longer valid. Digital Cookie gives girls hands-on experience with an e-commerce platform, which is a critical entrepreneurial skill in the digital work environment. Today, I am touching on the highlights of Digital Cookie 5.0. We will be providing a separate online training for Digital Cookie 5.0, which will go through all instructions in much greater detail. This training will be available on the GSNI website starting December 7th. A popular delivery option is to have cookies shipped directly to a customer's home. This is great for friends and family out of town that a Girl Scout cannot deliver to in person. Shipping fees are paid by the customer ordering the cookies. The customer is informed upfront of the shipping fees before confirming their order. Shipping rates are listed here. The customer receives their cookies within a few days of ordering, even if it is during GSNI's initial order time. Girl Scouts 13 years and over and parents will now be able to download the Digital Cookie mobile app to their smartphones so customers can purchase cookies online when face-to-face. -face. After a girl's site setup is complete, the app can be downloaded free to a smartphone. On this app, there are tips for selling, a share feature so a girl can enter someone's email, and an option for the customer to place an order. Safety tip reminder, parents or girls should never hand their phone to a customer, especially if they do not know the person. Once a Girl Scout has registered her site, she will be sent a, to a screen similar to this one. This is her dashboard or homepage. Now a girl with her parent, if she is 12 years and under, can navigate through the tabs at the top of the screen to personalize her information set up her customer facing page, and send emails to customers. She can also work on the cookie program badges for her Girl Scout level and learn more about sales tips and techniques through the learning tab. 
For you as the cookie chair or leader, you have the ability to see information and track the online sales of girls in your troop on your troop dashboard. You can view information on total online sales, sales by cookie type, volume of the sales by week, and sales by delivery method, either shipped, girl delivery, or donation. This is a view of the bottom portion of the troop dashboard. Cookie chairs or leaders can see their girls' progress at a glance to encourage their customer service skills. You will see all the girls in your troop and details including the parent email connected to your account, date of birth, if they have set up a site, sent customer emails, and or have orders, including any pending orders. To see more details about each girl's order, cookie chairs or leaders can click on the green underlined number in the number of orders column. Please note, at the end of initial sales, Monday, January 28th at 9 a.m. through Friday, February 1st at approximately 2 p.m., there will be a pause of digital cookie orders flowing into eBuddy during our initial order submission time. Customers can still place orders during this time. However, the orders won't be transmitted into eBuddy until the pause has ended. On your digital cookie troop dashboard, you can see if any girls in your troop have pending orders. Looking in eBuddy, when the parent approves the order, a girl delivery order will be labeled with DOC DLVR and the amount the customer paid will show as a positive number in the paid column and as a negative number or credit in the balance due column. The system does not automatically assign cookies for girl delivery orders to the girl. You will need to add these to her total. The girl delivery option ends on Wednesday, March 6 at 11.59 p.m. Introducing the new and upgraded Troop App Plus. This app now has nearly all the functionality of eBuddy except for selecting booth sites. So you can add orders, choose rewards, look at financials, and so much more. On this convenient Troop app, a video training and eBuddy help are built right in. Now let's discuss where you will add girl orders, choose booth sites, and so much more. eBuddy is the all-in-one place to run your cookie program. Using your welcome email, which will be sent to volunteers on Sunday, December 9th, you will receive a link to gain access into eBuddy. This link is unique to the person and is sent and will expire within seven days. We will do weekly uploads into eBuddy of troops, registered Girl Scouts and adult leaders and cookie chairs. A leader and or cookie chair must be a registered Girl Scout member with a current criminal background check in order for the troop to be added into eBuddy. After the initial login, if you forget your password, you can click on the fourth bullet link to reset your password via two options. Listed here are the approved web browsers for eBuddy. When you receive your welcome email, use the unique link in the email to log into eBuddy for the first time. Once you log in, you will be asked to add or edit your personal information. You can also change your password on the screen. After you make any changes and save, you will be redirected to the Cookie Tech Portal page. Simply select the eBuddy box on the top left column. You will not have access to the other systems. The eBuddy Help Center is a great tool to help you navigate and answer any eBuddy questions you may have. We will post GSNI resources on the Help Center tab as well as at www.girlscoutsni.org slash cookie resources. Along with the Help Center, we have an eBuddy manual created specifically for GSNI. This manual will be emailed out to all troops in December to help you navigate the system. The dashboard in eBuddy is the hub of information for your troop. Important messages from GSNI or your service unit will be posted here. Additionally, checklists 
approved booth sites, and very important girl delivery order summaries are displayed here. On your settings tab in eBuddy, you can enter or verify your banking information. We will be uploading the previous year's banking information on January 16th. Please go in after this date and verify it is correct. If you are a new troop, you will have to enter your bank's information. Click on the edit button and enter the bank name, account number, and routing number for your troop's bank account no later than January 28th. Click the update button at the bottom once all edits have been made. Also on this tab, you can add your troop goal, opt out of rewards, but only if you have an older girl troop. Older girl troops are defined as cadets, seniors, and ambassadors. On pages 16 and 17 of the Troop Cookie Manual, more information is provided to help troops make this important decision. On your Girls tab, you will see all girls registered in your troop. If there are any girls missing from this, please double check with the parent to be sure she is registered. Once the parent verifies her registration, you may contact us at 1-844-GSNI-4ME to find out why she is not listed under your troop. We do weekly uploads into eBuddy. These will be completed by Tuesday evenings. The girl name will be added along with her ID and grade level. You can add her sales goal on this tab and select her t-shirt size in preparation for earning the t-shirt reward. If a girl is transferred out of your troop, her name will remain on this tab, but we will now be able to mark a girl as inactive on the girls tab, so she will not show on your troop's girl orders tab. The Initial Orders tab is where you will enter girls' initial orders by the deadline of Monday, January 28th at 11.59 p.m. These orders should include the girls' traditional order card orders and any girl delivery digital cookie orders. Be sure to double check the totals listed on each girl's order card for accuracy. To enter, click on the girl's name and on the bottom of the screen, her name and boxes will appear. In these boxes, you will enter the total quantities needed for each cookie variety. After you have entered her totals, be sure to click OK on the right side and then hit Save at the top. You may make as many edits as you like, but do not click on the orange Submit Order button until you are completely done entering and editing each girl. If your service unit uses the scheduling feature in eBuddy, you will use the delivery tab to schedule a time to pick up your troop's initial order. This tab will be open on Saturday, February 2nd at 8 a.m. and will be closed Tuesday, February 5th at 11.59 p.m. The first prompt will be, who is picking up your cookies? You can select either someone from my troop or some other troop and add their troop number. The second prompt will be, Will you be picking up cookies for more than one troop? If yes is checked, then you will need to add that troop number. Your service unit delivery station date and time will be automatically added to this tab. All you need to do is select your preferred time window. Typically, the time windows are between 5 and 15 minutes, depending on what parameters your service unit has set. If you need more then one time window, eBuddy will make you aware of this. Once done selecting a time, click Submit My Info. On the Girl Orders tab, you can allocate any extra cookies sold after the initial order by any of the girls in your troop. Simply click on the girl's name you want to edit. A new screen will appear and you can add more cookies to her sales total. All cookies sold by each girl count towards her final rewards. Digital cookie orders will be automatically loaded for any online sales under the appropriate girl as well. Cookie quantities and varieties must still be added for any girl delivery digital cookie orders. See previous slides, the troop manual, 
or the digital cookie online training for more information. If a girl sells cookies at a booth site, her sales can be added to the Girl Orders tab. There is also an easy to use function in eBuddy called Record Booth Sale that helps with booth sale management. This function is also available as an app, so the leader has a choice. This function allows the leader to easily manage the cookies sold at a booth by evenly distributing the total quantity sold to all girls who attended that booth sale location. This tab allows you to add any money collected from parents to help keep an accurate accounting of all monies received. Once money is added to the paid column, it will then be subtracted and an accurate amount will show under the balance due column. On your transactions tab, you can place orders for more cookies to be picked up at a GSNI Resource Center Council cupboard or a volunteer cupboard. The cupboard days and times are displayed to easily see when a cupboard is open. Start by clicking Add a Transaction and a new screen will appear where you can enter the quantity of each variety of cookie you need to order. You will select your preferred cupboard location, date, and time for pickup. Please be aware of the cupboard hours. Once done entering all the information, click Save and Print or OK to save your order. Cookies needed to be picked up from the cupboards in cases quantities of 12 boxes. However, the cases can be mixed varieties of cookies, including both the Toffee Tastic and S'mores cookies. Once the cupboard manager has approved your order, it will become unpended and an email will be sent to you letting you know you are set to pick up your cookie order on your selected date and time. The new cookie exchange tab allows you to see what cookies other troops in your service unit have to exchange and it also allows you to post what cookies you have to exchange. You will enter the cookies in packages under the variety boxes and then click Submit. If you no longer have all the extras you originally posted, change the quantities appropriately and click Submit. This new submission will overwrite the previous submission. There is only one record per troop in this cookie exchange tab. To see what cookies are available by other troops, simply click the blue down arrow to the left of the cookie variety. eBuddy will then display the troops that have this extra cookie variety. It will list for you the date it was posted, the troop number, the quantity available, the first name of the contact person, and their email and phone number. You can then contact that person via email or phone to make the exchange. The Rewards tab will be used twice by the troop leader or cookie chair. First, it will be used to submit the troop's initial order rewards by Monday, January 28th at 11.59 p.m. This tab will also be used to submit final cookie rewards by Wednesday, March 20th at 11.59 p.m. eBuddy will automatically calculate what rewards each girl has earned. You will only need to make edits if there is a reward choice or t-shirt size to add. If t-shirt sizes are entered on the girls tab, then these selections will automatically populate into your final rewards tab. Booth sale patches must be added manually for girls that earn them. Volunteer patches may also be ordered manually to recognize a leader cookie chair or another adult volunteer in the troop that contributed to the cookie program. A maximum of five volunteer patches may be ordered per troop. You will have three choices, view, fill out, or girl report. You may edit all the girls in your troops rewards at one time by going to the fill out button and clicking edit all. This functionality can only be done once. Once you have made all edits, you will click Submit Reward Order. We are offering a special family reward. 
A sister's patch is being offered for families with two or more Girl Scouts selling a total of 300 boxes of cookies. Each girl must sell a minimum of 135 boxes and be listed in eBuddy. Parents and or leaders must contact the product program team by Wednesday, March 27th with the names and troop numbers of the sisters to earn this patch. The sisters patch is not being offered through eBuddy and is sent separately. On the Booth Sites tab, you will find council sales sites that have been secured by GSNI, or you can add your own My Sales site. In this example, the drop down is set for council sales sites. You can then click on the plus sign next to the city to see what booth sites are available in that community. Then click on the retail location you want to preserve. The available days and time slots will appear. If the date is green, that means there are times left to choose. If the date is blue, then all times are taken. Once you find the date and time you prefer, the window on the right will appear. You can then click in the open time slot to add your troop number. After doing this, click Submit. In this example, I chose Algonquin as my city and the Goodwill store for Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. eBuddy has a new feature. It's called the notification feature. If there is a council booth site your troop wants but is already taken, you can ask to be notified if the time slot becomes available. If the time slot does become available, you will receive an email. Please keep in mind, other troops may have requested to be notified as well. The first person to choose this time slot after you receive the email will get it. If at any point you do not wish to be notified about a time slot becoming available, please click on the Stop Notifying Me button. If you have reserved your own site for a booth sale, select My Sales in the drop down and then click Add a Location. The new screen is where you will enter the information about your booth site name of the business, address, contact information of the person you received approval from, and the date and time you will be at this location. The full address is required to receive approval for this site from GSNI. Once you are done entering all information, you will click Add. My sales requests are approved by GSNI on a first come, first served basis. A site may be denied if it is already reserved by another troop, the complete address is not provided, it is an established council sales site, or if there is a safety concern and is deemed inappropriate for girls. It is deemed inappropriate for girls if it is an establishment the girls themselves cannot legally patronize. Please note, these sites must be prearranged and approved with the business owner or manager prior to entering them into eBuddy. On the Reports tab, there are many useful reports. Most can be viewed as an Excel document or as a PDF. There is a covered list with addresses of all cupboards and a delivery station report with the address of your assigned service unit delivery location. The bottom section contains all digital cookie reports. The DOC Orders by Girl is another way to view and filter by girl to see which girls have digital cookie girl delivery orders, and what variety and quantities of cookies are needed. The Troop Sales Report is another very useful report. It details all cookies sold, including digital cookie sales and gift of caring donations received by the girls. This report also shows your PGA per girl selling average so you can easily keep track of how close the troop is to the next proceed tier. Adults must be registered as the troop leader or troop cookie chair with an approved criminal background check in order to be added into eBuddy. To protect your troop, have all parents sign the product program permission and responsibility form. Only registered Girl Scout members for the 2018-2019 membership year are allowed to participate in the cookie program. Also, please remember, troops that would like to do an additional money earning activity 
must complete the request form and be approved. This form is submitted to their member support specialist contact at the council. Part of the criteria for this approval is the troop must participate in both the fall product and cookie programs. Troops are encouraged to take advantage of the many ways girls can earn money for troop projects and activities through participation in both product programs. Also, keep in mind the proceeds have been increased for the cookie and fall product programs this year, allowing troops the opportunity to make significantly more proceeds, thus reducing the need for additional money earning activities. Thank you for your participation in the 2019 cookie program. For assistance and questions, contact your service unit cookie coordinator or a member of the product program team. Thank you for viewing this training. There's just one more thing to do. Click on the Samoa target that will appear shortly in the bottom right hand corner or pause this training and write down the link shown exactly as it is written and type it into your browser. This link will bring you to a Google form to complete for confirmation of taking this training. You may not receive your troops cookie materials until the training has been viewed and this form is completed. Service unit cookie coordinators will be receiving reports of which troops completed the training, but you may also show the confirmation email you will receive as proof of completing this training. There are five questions you will need to answer on the Google form. You are then eligible to receive your troops cookie materials.